In today's video, I'll be playing both Brookhaven and Livetopia for 24 hours, and we'll compare everything, even the most obscure secrets these games hold. First thing we'll compare them around is their spawn area, wherever you start the game. In Brookhaven, the first thing you'll see is the fountain, and if we make ourselves really small, then try to swim around here. You can glitch into the air and it'll look like you're flying. Beyond that, we also have a picnic table if you want to stop and talk a bit. You can also find some stairs that lead into the town's metro. If you click on its sign, you can go through this fake wall. And you'll now find yourself beneath the spawn, which is cool. But this is only Brookhaven. How does Livetopia's one look like? This is the spawn area of Livetopia. Here you'll find a wheel that if you click on it will let you spin to win a prize. What am I gonna get this time? Oh, it's 25 Topia tickets. What can I use this for? Oh, we can actually exchange them for some of these items. That's pretty cool. They're little miniatures you can get. That's kind of fun. There's also a present? What do we have in here? What's this? Wait, is that a house? I've never seen anything like this. I'm literally carrying my miniature house. I don't even know what to make of this. Topia Ice Hockey? So wait, is this a stage for people to play at? Is that it? Oh yeah, look at me going ham in the drums. I ain't just good on that one. I can also do the keyboard. I'm really skilled as you see. Now what's this thing? Is it some sort of vehicle? Looks like it can take me to all these places around the map. There's so many places here. But that was literally Livetopia spawn. I think it's pretty good. Next, we'll be comparing the school of each game. At Brookhaven School, we can sit down in class and study with some of the teachers. We can also click on the whiteboard, and that makes us able to write anything you want in there. You can also get the student role for yourself, and it'll now let you open up these lockers around the school, making it easier to grab our books and study. This is all cool, but I want to see more stuff, like the principal's office. Sadly, it is just a regular office. Nothing exciting about it. Here's the janitor room where they leave the mops and cleaning supplies. They even have a whiteboard with a list of what to do. Going upstairs we have the bathrooms, the cafeteria with a bunch of yummy food. There's the music area, the study area, and even the art room where you can draw whatever you want in the canvases. We can't forget about the auditorium where you can sit down and watch all kinds of plays. Over at Livetopia they got Topia School. As you get in you'll find the reception where you can get your student role just like you do in Brookhaven. We can also sit down at the reception and use this computer. You can't stop this. We also have a computer lab which Brookhaven doesn't have. Here's the bathrooms if you're ever in need. The teacher's lounge where you get the teacher role. You can also just sit down on these desks. And this seems to be the principal's office. For some reason it also has this painting with something coming out of it. And if I click it, oh, do I have this picture for me now? I guess I just got a free painting. This is the cafeteria. It's pretty nice looking. They do have some different stuff here, like these little French fries. I'll even grab a bite of that. That's delicious. I didn't even realize, but whenever we eat something it disappears from our hands and inventory. So it looks even more like we just ate the item. That's not something Brookhaven does. I like that. Seems like this is the auditorium they have. It's smaller than I'm used to. There's also some classrooms. This one is an English class. And we can also write on the white bars in here. If we also look at this girl's video, she's been playing Livetopia for a while now. Apparently she knows of a secret hidden in the computer lab. We'll need some codes for this one. She puts the number three in that one, then the number six, number three again, and then number one. With that, she made an actual portal appear. Okay, we gotta try this out immediately. Right here, we need to get the number three. Over here, we should get number six, another three in there, and then a one. Look at that. We made it appear too. I can't believe this is actually true. Let's get into it then. Whoa, what's going on here? It's like a secret room of the school. Let me get up here. Wait, it's taking us up. These chairs are literally floating right now. This doesn't even make sense. We'll do this fairly easily. I'm the king of parkour. I should keep my mouth shut. Let's do that again. There we go. Now we just jump from all of those. And looks like we are just another present for that. What will it give us? I think it's a miniature camel. What will I even do with that? It's really cute though. And this other portal? It just takes us to a soccer field. But why would it just do that? There's another secret in this school though. We first go to math class, then sit on the middle chair, and out of nowhere, everything just starts flying around the room. All right, just found the math class, so let's just sit right here as the video told us. And they stay right over here. Is that actually it? It doesn't seem like it. I'm here, but nothing is happening. What if I try to mess with the time? Whoa! It actually happened. I think I get it now. This secret only happens if it's midnight inside the game. So let me do it again.
it again for us to see. Look at that. Everything is floating. I can even sit on the chairs as they do that. What's this thing though? Can I click it? I don't think so. But it looks like a magic wand. Like if there's some magic person making all this happen. Oh, there's a code to put in here. So there's even more secrets? I didn't know that at all. If we look at this other video, we can see that she found the same combination lock as us. The code seems to be 0601. A trap door even opens as we put it there. All right, 0601. Whoa, we found it. Just look at this place. Where even am I? It's like a space room with planets and stuff. There's also a button. Oh, it must be what helps us get back through the trap door. What about this thing? Where does it take me? All right, another bizarre looking room. There's a bunch of code in here, as well as all these screens spread all around it. Dude, what even is this room? There's a map in here and a text asking for an electronic part. It tells us to follow the prompts to obtain the part and place it in the groove. I didn't even realize, but there's a huge guy in here with a screen for a head, like Skippy Toilet. That secret was so crazy. We'll now start comparing the police stations. This is Brookhaven's one. You all know it. Here we can get the police roll, as well as getting cop items, like handcuffs, as well as some guns. They also have some jail cells in here, where we can actually lock people up. One of this place's secrets are actually inside the cells. If you jump on the bunk bed, you can actually jump onto the vent system. There's even a way for you to escape from here. But if you hug this wall, you can actually find a hidden corridor leading to a small room, where you can find a picture of an FBI agent, a mysterious white stick, and behind this cabinet, you'll also find a secret blue card you can only get here. This thing you'll be able to use at the cabin of Brookhaven's power grid. The only way to open the door is with it. Inside, there's this blue screen that asks for a password from you. Weirdly, this one is just your Roblox nickname. As you put that in, it will be approved. This place also has some lever you can turn on and off. Over at Livatopia, we have this police station. They even got some automatic doors. Of course, we can get the police roll here. There's even some pictures of suspects that we can click to put our faces in it, which you can actually also do in Brookhaven's one. Beyond this door, we also got some office space for our cops. There's even another room in here, but this one is more for surveillance, as they have some security cameras in here. Here's where you take the photos of the inmates they've locked up. The coolest one has got to be this investigation room, where the convict will talk with two other cops. It also has this black window in the back that you can't see through, because it's one way only. From this room, someone else can monitor and see everything inside there, which is pretty realistic. Oh look, here's the jail cells they have. Look at that! There's even some uniforms you can put on here. We literally just click on them and we'll now be wearing it. That's so cool! It's so awesome that they have this in the game. In this girl's video, she actually finds this hidden card inside the offices. With it, we'll actually have access to the station storage of weapons. Beyond just that, we even have access to a room beneath the cells. The card should be right over here. I got it. With it in hand, we'll have access to all these weapons. Ain't this awesome? There's tons of guns all around the walls of this place. That's expected. I want to see that secret room. Apparently, it's on this cell right here. We just need to open it up. Look at that. We're here. Let's see what we can find in this place. Do we just need to use this card here? Wait, how are we supposed to open this one? I literally can't. Looks like we need to get back into the cell and look beneath the bed. You'll see some stuff you can click there. But to do that, we have to actually move it out of the way. Now you just have to finish this little puzzle so the red line is fully connected. Awesome. Does this present have the card? No, it's a bank miniature. That's not what I'm looking for. Where's the other card we need for that door? Where are you card? Oh, I think that's it right there. Okay, now we should be able to get in here. Just look at this place. We can now get the spy roll for ourselves. There's money just laying on this table. We can even make it rain. You can also find a bunch of weapons around the walls of this room. Now we'll see how the hospitals fare. At St. Luke's Hospital, you know how it is. We have a surgery room. A bunch of beds for the patients. There's a pharmacy right up front if you need your meds. You can even pick one up. They also have an x-ray room that actually has a secret passage right here. Beneath the desk there, you can be teleported to to a strange agency room. And if you want to go back, you need to find this stool with a blue button that'll take you straight to Lake Madison. Livatopia also has its own hospital. As you get in, you'll find the reception, which is also where you get the nurse role. There's some rooms for the patients over here. I think it actually looks great. We got some stairs to the second floor, where they seem to have an x-ray room. Look at that! The x-ray machine looks really cool.
cool. It even does the whole animation where it puts you there to take your x-ray. Whoa, that's so cool. This video seems to show a secret in the hospital. She first gets an item that are these goggles. Then she clicks the paper on that tree to understand what it does. Now she goes to that corner of the hospital, puts on the glasses, and a hidden door shows up to her now. So where will I find the tree with the secret goggles? Oh, I think it's this one. Down here there's this bag that gives us the goggles when we click it. This seems to be the paper she saw. It even tells us to go over to the hospital. These goggles are so funny. It changes our whole vision whenever we use them. It's just kind of weird to me. Now that we're here, we go to this corner and put them on. We can now just get straight into this room. Let's take the goggles off and look at what we have here. Seems like we have a whole secret room in this hospital. There's a bunch of stuff thrown around the floor though. We can even find a diary of someone that was in here. Apparently, there's even another secret passage over here, like it's some sort of bunker. Each one of these rooms has something weird on it, like just a regular bed in here. A portal right there and another one over here. There's also this big door that as we go in. Whoa! I wasn't expecting that light. Seems like they light us as we pass them. Looks like there's a present waiting for us at the end, but we can't get there. It keeps teleporting me back. Maybe there's a trick to this. I give up. I don't get it. Let's see one of these portals then and see where we end up. There's a big tree in here with just sunshines, I guess. Here's a butterfly. Ain't she just cute? I still don't know what we can do here. Back in the bunker. Let's see where the other portal takes us. Look at that. There's a... Wait, it disappeared. There was a picture of a kitty right there on the ground. I swear. In any case, we still have a yarn ball if we find one. Wait, there's the kitty. And it disappeared again. Maybe he's going up with us? Look at it right there. He's really making us follow them around. This cat must be pulling a <laughs> prank on me. Let's keep going and see where this takes us. Another portal? Oh, we're back in here again. This Libertopia hospital secret is quite bizarre indeed. But that's gonna have to be it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on the video and comment down below what you thought about the secrets in Libertopia. I actually like them a lot. Make sure to watch one of the videos on screen right now. They won't hide from you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for even more Roblox games like these ones. Have a good one.